Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity to sing here before the deities. I am really grateful and I seek your blessings so that I can please the deities and all of you here. Uh, I am singing um, from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 31. Uh, verses 1 to 19 and then I'll be singing um, from the chapter 32 uh, verse 2 and verse 3 so uh, the context of this uh, these verses is that um, the rasa dance is happening and suddenly Lord Krishna disappears and his disappearance causes lot of anxiety among the gopis and they start searching for Lord. Um, they are very troubled, they are literally panicking and they are missing him a lot. And while they are searching for him, uh, they are remembering him, they are um, glorifying him, they are remembering his qualities, his pastimes. Um, and while doing so, they are having a lot of bliss also. And thereafter, the last two verses which I'll be singing from chapter 32, that shows or that, uh, that reveals that Lord Krishna appears again before them and how they again beca became blissful. So these are the, all, all the verses are about that. Uh, you people, if you all want, you can... Um, open this these verses in your in your phones and you can follow it okay so uh, canto 10 Srimad bhagavatam chapter 31 uh, first verse Jayati. Shara do da shay 
Ram mm-hmm. 
मुखम चते कृष्ण जड़ उदीक्ष भवता 
chapter verse 2 and then verse 3 ta sa ma ve bhucha re ta sa ma ve bhucha some of the translations of these verses because they are very long so I'll just read few of them so uh, this these all these verses they are from Srimad Bhagavatam Canto 10 chapter 31 and the name of the chapter is 
द गोपीज सॉन्ग्स ऑफ सेपरेशन एंड आई जस्ट रीड आउट वॉट्स देर इन द इन द भागवतम दिस चैप्टर रिलेट्स हाउ द गोपीज ओवर वेल्ड बाय द फीलिंग्स ऑफ सेपरेशन फ्रॉम कृष्णा सैट डाउन ऑन द बैंक ऑफ द यमुना एंड बिगैन praying for his audience and singing his glories because the gopis had dedicated their minds and very lives to krishna they were beside themselves with the transcendental pain of separation but their crying which appears like evidence of misery actually shows their exalted state of transcendental bliss As it is said, yata dekha Vaishnava vyavahar dukha nishchaya janiha janiya se parmananda sukha. Whenever one sees a Vaishnava acting unhappy, one should know it for sure that he is actually experiencing the highest spiritual bliss. Thus, each of the gopis began addressing Lord Shri Krishna. according to her individual mode of ecstasy and they all prayed for him for his mercy um the first the 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 translation of the first verse which i did jayati te dikam the translation says the gopi said o beloved your birth in the land of vraja has made it exceedingly glorious your birth in the land of raja has made it exceedingly glorious sorry and thus indira the goddess of fortune always resides here it is only for your sake that we your devoted servants maintain our lives we have been searching for you so please show yourself to us and then i'll just read the translation of the fourth verse which says nakhalu gopika nandanu bhavan akhila dehi naam antaratma drik so the gopis are saying you are not actually the son of the gopi yashoda o friend but rather you are the indwelling witness in the hearts of all embodied souls because lord brahma prayed for you to come and protect the universe you have now appeared in the satvata dynasty the ninth verse which says tava katha amritam the translation is the nectar of your words and the descriptions of your activities are the life and soul of those suffering in this material world these narrations transmitted by learned sages eradicate one's sinful reactions and bestow good fortune upon whoever hears them these narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power certainly those who spread the message of godhead are most munificent then i'll read um, the verse 18 which goes the verse was vraja vanau kasam vyaktir angate so the translation is o oh, beloved your all auspicious appearance vanquishes the distress of those living in vraja's forests our minds long for your association please give to us just a bit of that medicine which counteracts the disease in your devotees hearts and then the second chapter the next chapter that is chapter 32 from which i the chapter is named as the reunion and this describes um, how the gopis felt when they saw lord krishna again the translation of the second verse is 
The first verse says Chukadeva Goswami said O king having thus sung and spoken their hearts out in various charming ways the gopis began to weep loudly they were eager to see lord krishna verse second then lord krishna a smile on his lotus face appeared before the gopis wearing a garland and a yellow garment he directly appeared as one who can bewilder the mind of cupid who himself bewilders the minds of ordinary people text 3 when the gopis saw that the dear most krishna had returned to them they all stood up at once and out of their affection for him their eyes bloomed white it was as if the air of life had re-entered their bodies So um I'm Vandana uh, Vandana Bhandula uh, professionally I'm doctor um I uh, specialized in obsan gynae and I've been practicing um in India and in Dubai and presently I'm in Dubai I'm based in Dubai presently with my husband and my children and I've I had been practicing in Dubai also but for the last um few years i'm not practicing and uh, i how i happen to come here uh, in san diego is that my son who is sitting right here he uh, he has joined a research program here in scripps research institute um, just two years back so that's how we visited san diego two years back and the moment we came here of course we came to this temple and it's such a bliss it's such mercy of shila prabhupad so we came here and i mean whenever i come here i regularly try to come here because it's 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 extremely fortunate to have this association here so uh, when i came here this time i mean i just came here for a month to spend some time with my son and i've been visiting um, this temple and i got in touch with few devotees here some of the mataji's they were just telling me okay um, uh, there is bhajan sandhya here on saturday and you can if you want you can sing before the deities so i said okay then one of them gave me um, the contact of prabhu ji roop manohar prabhu ji and i contacted him and he very graciously he just said yes yes you can uh, do it so i that's how i'm here now and um, I really feel myself blessed humbly and I'm really I'm, I'm I'm really humbled to uh be here and sing before the deities I'm so glad thank you thank you when you do the whole you do the whole the whole the deity